Welcome to Classic Klondike Solitaire. Today we're going to learn how to use the foundation pile uh, to help us solve this puzzle toward the end of a game. Just a quick second here, I'm going to show the draw pile. Uh, there's three cards there, three more cards, brings it up to six, and three more cards that brings it up to nine. So there are ten cards left in that draw pile. Again, if you'd like to hit pause or go to the slow motion thing, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, what we are going to do here is we are going to solve this and uh, get these cards out of the, preferably moving this column right here. So let's go through again. As you can see, there's no specific moves available at the moment, but uh, that's why we have these cards in the foundation pile. And what we can do with these is we can bring these down. Uh, more specifically, I'm looking at this three of clubs right here. But before I do that, I have to go back. I'm going to go back one move. And you can see this two of diamonds right here. We can't play the two of diamonds because we haven't uncovered the ace of diamonds. But we could play it under a black three. So what we are going to do is put it right here underneath the four of diamonds. That allows us to play this two of diamonds. But more importantly, it allows us to play the six of diamonds down below. And this is going to open up a wide range of options, as you can see right here. We can keep going back on the draw pile. We can play the five of diamonds. We can play the five of clubs. We can play the four of clubs. We can play this important ace of diamonds. And being able to do this with the foundation pile late in the game can be the difference between solving the game and not solving it. So here we go. We can play this four of diamonds right here. And uh, there's a jack. We can play that black jack under the, the red queen, of course. We can play this five of hearts, either up top or below. We're just going to play it below for now. And may have gone too fast here, but we'll see. Let's cycle through again. Oh, that's great. We can play the ten of hearts. And a lot of times, our first instinct is to play this card next. But we're at the beginning of the draw pile. Don't want to do that necessarily. We want to see what's the next card. And in this case, uh, in this case, we can do what we're going to do there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, nine will be played right there. And now all we need to do is move these cards up and we should be able to get the two cards out of the draw pile here. So two of diamonds goes up, three of diamonds goes up. We're going to move three of clubs, four of clubs. Now we're going to work on diamonds again. Uh, four, five, and uh, let's go uh, six of diamonds here. We'll work on clubs. It's going to be five, six, and then seven of clubs up top. So right here, five of clubs, six of clubs, seven of clubs, seven of diamonds and as you can see we're just going, going to work the rest of these cards up and we solve the puzzle there again it's very important uh, to be able to know how to use that uh, foundation pile late in the game to maneuver some cards around and maybe uh, open up a column or get some cards out of the draw pile that you normally wouldn't be able to do and if you can do that you're going to push your win percentages up uh, but more importantly, it's just it's fun to be able to solve a, a tough puzzle when you look and you can't figure it out, you can't figure it out, and then you figure it out, and it's like, oh, cool, I solved this. And, of course, that is going to wrap this up. I would like to thank you for watching and uh, wish you good luck.